Let's talk about the Alex Math Placement Exam. Now, this is a critically important exam for those of you that are going to college. Now, depending on how well you do on this exam, is going to determine whether you're going to get into the best math class for you. So you really do want to study for this exam because you don't want to get into a math course that is beneath your current math skills because that is going to waste a lot of money and time. All right, so if you understand algebra, you should be able to solve this basic question right here. Something like this will definitely be on the Alex. Now, before we get into this question, let me tell you who I am. My name is John, and I have been teaching math for decades. And I have a fantastic Alex Math Prep course. I'm going to leave a link to it in the description of this video. Matter of fact, uh, this course has 25 chapters. I pretty much cover all of high school level mathematics. So it is an extremely comprehensive review that will really get you ready for the Alex exam. All right, so what we have here is a function, f of x is equal to x squared, and I'm asking what is the inverse function to this function, okay? Now I'll ask the question this way, all right? So here is our function. Does this function have an inverse? And if it does, what is the inverse to this function? Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this right now. And uh, I would say this is like an algebra one level problem. So something like this will definitely be on the Alex. And if you can't do this problem, well, you definitely need to review some basic algebra. So here is our function and here is our question. What is the inverse function to this function? Now, what is an inverse function? All right, so I'm not to turn this whole uh, video into a full lesson, but basically, an inverse function is a function such that when we plug in the inverse function into the actual function and we have a composite function, we get back to x. So uh, I know this uh, may seem complicated, but this is stuff that you definitely need to know for the Alex. So let's take a look at a simple example here because there is a bit of a twist on this problem. Okay, so if I had uh, this simple equation right here, matter of fact, I'll use this notation, f of x is equal to 2x plus 1. So here is a function, and let's say that we want to find the inverse function of this function. So how do we do that? Well, again, this is something that hopefully you know how to do. So the first thing that we want to do is write uh, this equation uh, in a different way. So we have a linear function like this, and what we want to do is replace this f of x with y. So we have y is equal to 2x plus 1. So f of x is the same thing as y, and uh, hopefully you knew that. Okay, so what we're going to do here is write this function this way, and then we're going to replace the x and y's. So instead of y, we're going to write x, and instead of x, we're going to write y. Okay, so I'm just kind of going through the procedure to find the inverse function. Now, after we kind of switch x and y here, we're going to solve for the variable y. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that right now. So that's going to be 2y plus 1 is equal to x. And when we solve for y, it's going to look like what? Well, we have to move the 1 over to the other side of the equation. So that's 2y is equal to x minus 1. So y is going to be equal to, we're going to divide both sides of the equation by 2. So y is going to be equal to x minus 1 over 2. Okay, so this is the inverse function. So I can replace this y with this notation here, f of negative 1x is equal to x minus 1 over 2. All right, now, if you're still with me, that is fantastic. And uh, let's go ahead and check this into our original function. So let me go ahead and erase this here. So I'm just kind of teaching you some algebra on the fly. And uh, if you understand this, that is great. So here, again, is our original function. Now, this function right here is the inverse function. If I plug this function into the original function and we get X, right? So this is how you verify a function and its inverse. Matter of fact, 
it's not only the function, let me just uh, write it this way. So f of the actual inverse function, okay, is going to be equal to x. And also, if we plug in the original function into the inverse function, we also get x. Okay, so hopefully you know this, but I'm only going to uh, plug in the inverse function into the actual function. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Okay, so when I do this, when I plug this into this function right here, you're going to get what? Well, we're going to get 2 times x minus 1 over 2 plus 1, right? So I'm plugging in for x the inverse function, or x minus 1 over 2, right here where x is at. So by doing that, you can see our 2s are going to cross cancel, and I'm left with x minus 1 plus 1. So minus 1 plus 1 is x. So you can see we're left with x. Okay, so it def definitely worked out. f of x is equal to x, and then I can tell you right now, when we plug this function into this function, you'll also get x. So this is how you find an inverse function. But uh, here, there is a kind of a bit of a twist because this function does not have an inverse. So instead of doing all this math here, you're not going to be able to find an inverse function such that this works out. Okay, so I'm going to give you uh, two big principles about functions that you definitely need to understand for the Alex Math Placement exam. Okay, but uh, I kind of left you with a bonus here, and that is uh, how to find the inverse function of, like, let's say, like a linear function. But when it comes to functions, you also need to understand graphically what's going on. So let's uh, uh, do a quick sketch of the graph of f of x is equal to x squared. So here's x and here is y. So this is the same thing as y is equal to x squared. So we're talking about a parabola. Okay, so we're talking about a parabola where the vertex here is at the origin. Now, this is a simple graph of f of x is equal to x squared. So if I showed you this graph and, I, uh, and you didn't have the function, and I asked you, is this a function? Does this graph represent a function? You should be able to answer yes. And the way you should be able to do so is because it passes the vertical line test, all right? So the vertical line test is a test such that if you draw a vertical line and uh, one vertical line and it only passes through this graph one time, right? So we're talking about a vertical line. If it only crosses through that graph one time, not two times, it passes the vertical line test indicating the graph is indeed a function. Okay, so we can uh, tell by the uh, graph of this function, this uh, parabolic function, that indeed we have a function. You can confirm that with the vertical line test. So this is a function, no doubt about it. But what we're trying to do is find the inverse function of that function. Okay, so the question is really, does an inverse function exist with this function? Now, in order for an inverse function to exist in a function, it has to pass the horizontal line test. Okay, so we have another test here, and that is the HLT. So the horizontal line test is a line that you draw horizontally through the graph. Here's the HLT. Now, if this uh, line, if a horizontal line passes through the graph more than one time, well, that graph fails the horizontal line test. So yes, indeed, we have a function here, but uh, because it passes the vertical line test, but you can see this parabola is failing the horizontal line test, which means that it does not have an inverse, okay? So this uh, function does not have an inverse function, okay? It is a function, but uh, it does not have an inverse function. So not all functions have an inverse. Okay, so let's go back to our linear equation function. So I'm just going to draw some sort of, or sketch out real quick, a linear equation. Okay, so something like y is equal to 2x plus 1. So here, again, it would be like the graph of a linear equation or a linear function. So you can see here that uh, this line 
passes the vertical line test, but it also passes the horizontal line test. That's why this linear function is a function and why it has an inverse. Okay, so stuff that you definitely need to know to do well on the Alex Math placement exam and uh, certainly stuff that you need to know to be successful in college level mathematics. So if you need additional help, don't take, uh, don't leave anything to chance. Make sure you really study. It'll definitely pay off. So definitely check out my Alex Math placement test prep course. Again, you can find a link to it in the description of this video. And with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.